Are we okay, so higher in London? I, I didn't have a chance to record, so let's. Uh, I want to make sure Adam I understood. Smith, let, let me say it. Forget about Marx. Adam, Adam Smith, Smith looked at: Is it really the case that if you raise wages, then prices will go up? And he said, No. The American colonies' wages are higher. You can look up the passage yourself in okay. the Wealth of Nations. Sure. Wages are higher in the American colonies, but prices for commodities was lower. You want to know and why? You, because there were there was a higher supply of those commodities. Well, no, because also there was greater demand in the American colonies, which then invited more competition, which lowered the price. Absolutely. Right. So high wages are good. They help I've never the said economy. that they weren't good. Right. But that has nothing to do with Marx you know, or Smith. No, it's out of work. 90 million and, Americans yeah. are out they should of work, and it's wrong. And why are they out of work? Because of illegal criminal immigration. You've got a larger okay? supply of labor we have too driving many down people. the price of labor. We have too many people over here. Okay, our system is so, invaded. Our system is broken. Your we point. Too many I agree with you, but that has not that doesn't support Marx. That refutes yeah, him all the more. Right. Marx also believes in a in, in a in a central government. Marx believed in giving well, so the state lots of Hamilton. Well, but what we're talking about Adam Smith, right? So this is where we're no, going to stay. Saying, so you understand? There's a huge difference. I like that word, huge. Yeah, Adam right. Smith, free huge. free market. Adam Smith, the free hand of commerce. I may not understand yeah. it, but it exists and it you know, works. You need to understand. Marx you need to believed understand. in central control, big government. Force. When you got force, no, you did. don't have liberty. No, he, he, he did. Another, you don't. He, he talked about another class of people taking over. Okay. Okay. He but argued. you're still going to have government, and it's going to be centralized, right. and that's what's happened every single time, from Lenin to Stalin to Pol Pot, and even in China, it's still a communistic society. Adam Smith wasn't against government. He. Oh, sure. I'm not against it. It has to be free, limited. Right. And what he was riling against was the arbitrary rule of monarchy. Exactly. Right. And you know what? Communism right. creates the same thing. It does. It does. Look Give you some examples? Sure. Let's talk look about Stalin. Let's talk about Khrushchev after that. Castro. Let's talk about, and then you've got, what's his name, Gorbachev, realizing with perestroika, we cannot have an economy which is command control. It's not working. Reagan no, knew he could work with the guy. You know and the Soviet, Soviet Union collapsed. System, Go ahead. They were the second largest manufacturing power in the world. Based on what? Government spending? No, just yeah. industrial output. Okay, you know that in the okay. Soviet system, they were had greater literacy than in the United States. Who had greater literacy? They were they had a greater rate of literacy. You mean people could read? In the Soviet system. Is this based on Soviet uh, data no, that I was mean, collected? No, this is the United Nations. Oh, I don't trust the United Nations. They've got fraud well, up and down. I mean, they're, they're, United they're, Nations they're claims that there's a higher life rate in Cuba. That's because they don't That's count true. the dead babies. They, they don't count don't the babies who are aborted. That's Yo, true. Why is it a lie? They don't count a baby that's born dead. That's why they claim a lower mortality rate. That's what's happening. Right. The yeah. UN is a government institution that's politicizing its data. It's ran by the United States. Have you been to Cuba? <laughs> Thank God I haven't. No, I have. I've been to nine different Latin American countries. Oh, great. Yeah, and well, Cuba is easily... My boss is in Cuba right now. Cuba is easily the cleanest, healthiest, and safest of all the Latin American countries. I've been okay, have you been everywhere and have you talked to everyone? Mexico, Guatemala... But I mean in Cuba. Yeah, it's all over Cuba. All but over. here's the problem. Then why are so many Cubans fleeing Cuba? Thank you. Explain that to me. Well, Life much good. less than the Haitians, Mexicans, the, no, 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 no. Why are so many Cubans leaving Cuba? They're if it's not such so a great crane. You're not answering my question. They're not, they're not 1979. They're not you got Castro. No los queremos. No los necesitamos. I watch Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. Sorry. That, that's who fled. Criminals. Yeah. <laughs> no. You, excuse me. You're calling all Cubans criminals. No, did no, you just no, say no, that? No, oh, hell, that. you did not. But I'm just saying that. I got Cuban friends who obey the law and they couldn't. Stand the communistic corruption right. and abuse, right. sir. I'm sorry, but.